Welcome to everyone watching this video today. This video is a worship video and we're going to um, sing a song in a second or at least attempt to sing a song. It's one that I really can't get the tune of, uh, not being musical at all, but we're going to attempt to sing it and then we'll read it through like a prayer. So we're going to sing it through once so you at least know the song and then we're going to say it as a prayer. So let us now sing. Can a nation be changed? Can a nation be changed? Can a nation be saved? Can a nation be turned back to you? Can a nation be changed? Can a nation be saved? Can a nation be turned back to you? We're on our knees, we're on our knees again. We're on our knees, we're on our knees again. Let this nation be changed. Let this nation be saved. Let this nation be turned back to you. Let this nation be changed. Let this nation be saved. Let this nation be turned back to you. We're on our knees. We're on our knees again. We're on our knees. We're on our knees again. That's a rough rendition of that song. But now we're going to read it through and let this be our prayer. Can a nation be changed? Can a nation be saved? Can a nation be turned back to you. We're on our knees. We're on our knees again. We're on our knees. We're on our knees again. Let this nation be changed. Let this nation be saved. Let this nation be turned back to you. We're on our knees. We're on our knees again. We're on our knees. We're on our knees again. And of course that talks about the symbolism, the act of being on our knees in prayer before God. That's how we do our battle and our warfare, on our knees in prayer before the Lord. And of course, a scripture passage which I will read today. 2 Chronicles, chapter 7, verses 14 to 16. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. I have chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forevermore. My eyes and my heart will always be there. Let me read that scripture passage again. 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verses 14 to 16. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. I have chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there. Praise God. Let these be the prayers of us as Christians, as saints, praying for the nation, the nations. And let us, if we watch this video today, comment 
like and share widely with every Christian, every believer we know in this nation and in nations around the world. We need God's touch and we need it mightily. The world is in a terrible position and we are commissioned and called as we've read in scripture and as we've prayed and sung today. We need to be on our knees before the Lord, intercessing, standing in the gaps for those that need a touch of Jesus Christ to know him as Lord and Saviour. And of course, you can play a part. Prayer, in the worship and in proclaiming the word of God. And that's so easy to do with one click of this button you can share it to many and we can proclaim that message god bless you all in the day ahead amen